Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're taking a look at the Eureka Oro Mignon XL Coffee Grinder. This is the first from the latest badge of grinders coming out of the Eureka factory that aims to package all the best features and technology of a Eureka machine into one unit. We're talking silent grinding technology, low retention grind chambers, and fortified grinder burrs and the XL adds to the already impressive lineup of Mignon grinders. Whilst appearing like any one of the other Mignon grinders, the XL is more precise with a better grind adjustment dial, grinds with burrs 30% larger and has a bigger motor, so it grinds faster, but does so just as quiet as the best in the Mignon range, and it now comes with a very neat barista workstation. And the fact that Eureka grinders are all designed and hand assembled in Italy ensures an unparalleled delivery of quality construction. With the Eureka Mignon XL coming in several different colors, you can shop the full range by following this link up above. But stay with me now as we take a further look at this eminent espresso grinder for the home coffee setup. Dimensions wise, the XL stands up at 38 centimeters high, is 12 centimeters wide, and 18 centimeters deep. However, sitting on that barista mat, the total space taken up on the bench is 28 centimeters by 22 centimeters. Though that mat is not compulsory to use, it does though come with its own grinds brush and a convenient tamp station with a place to store your tamp. I'd also go so far as to say there would be some additional sound dampening by leaving the grinder on the mat during operation. With its increased size and having that full metal casing going all the way down to the bench, it was definitely that first thing I noticed when I took the XL out of the box. It weighs in a whopping 7.2 kilograms with only the 300 gram hopper and this top lid to the burr chamber are made from plastic. And the hopper also has a shut off valve on it that'll come in handy for removing beans when you're wanting to keep them fresh or if you're looking to single dose your beans one dose at a time. Now the Eureka Mignon XL uses 65 millimeter stainless steel flat burrs. And these are a Eureka owned Paterden diamond inside design. And this acts to preserve the optimal burr sharpness for longer to maintain a more consistent grind distribution over the full life of the burrs. And with a powerful 320 watt motor, turning these burrs now at 1650 RPMs, the grinding productivity of the XL for espresso brewing is up there around two to three grams a second. And with a 20 gram dose, it only took around seven seconds to grind out. And if you consider the size and the speed of the burrs, as well as the power of the motor, you could expect a loud grinding experience from the XL, but it's not the case at all. And Eureka are well known for adding sound dampening material throughout the body of a number of their grinders, and it reduces the noise produced during grinding well below that of grinders within the same size and power categories. And the Oro XL does impressively well at grinding under 70 decibels. Now, as a stepless grinder, the Mignon XL has a full range of grind settings available to it, and the dimensions of that grind adjustment wheel have been increased compared to other Mignon grinders in order to have more finesse at micro grind size adjustments, and it works quite well. Now, one of the best features of any coffee grinder really is having that grind size adjustment mechanism isolated from the rest of the grinder's working parts. And it makes changing the settings much, much smoother, simpler to access, and having it here avoids getting it clogged up with any finely ground coffee particles. I also enjoyed the fact that the XL straight out of the box was calibrated for the burrs chirping when the dial read zero. So primarily an espresso grinder. You'll only require to turn that adjustment dial ever so slightly to make a grind change by turning the dial all the way coarse two or three times around. It will function to produce grinds capable of brewing filter style coffee too, but there is a noticeable grind size distribution at those coarser settings. Taking a look at the grind sizes that we have though, there is plenty of range for espresso brewing and moving coarser through it, you'll find manual espresso as well as mocha pot brewing, and then going into the filter spectrum, there you'll have AeroPress, pour overs like the V60 and Chemex, up to French press and cold brewing. So to begin using the Mignon XL, once the grinder is turned on, the well-lit and easy to view touchscreen display offers left and right 
two time programmable buttons to set automatic dosing. Or to use a manual grind out mode, press both of these program modes together. Now, to set a specific time of grinding, choose one of those modes that you want to use, and then simply press the plus or the minus button to change the time by a tenth of a second. And then if you're happy with these program settings, you can lock them in place so they're not accidentally changed by holding both the plus and the minus button together at the same time. Another great feature with these programs is the pause function, where you can stop mid grinding through the program and it'll hold this time indefinitely until you either grind the remaining time out or clear it again to start. And this works really well when you're collapsing a basket of coffee. Now, to set your preferred dose by weight, you will need a set of scales for repeatability, but you can just eyeball it into the basket for an approximate two. It is important to note that if you adjust the grind size, you may also need to adjust the time as well to maintain a consistent dose. And dose accuracy on the Minion XL, over 20 doses, I was aiming for 18 grams out, and had a variance of 0.2 to 0.3 gram as a maximum, which was super consistent. Noticeably more consistent either at larger intervals between grinding or with back-to-back -back grinding as those burrs began to warm up. And you activate the XL by pressing the button set at the back of the portafilter forks. And it's from here you'll be able to grind hands-free on the Minion XL. Using the adjustable portafilter forks to suit any group handle, those forks are padded so as to not scratch any portafilter, as well as helping with non-slip positioning of naked handles. Now, coffee grounds always find their way cleanly into the basket when you're using a Eureka grinder, and they have a very direct grinding path that add a degree of cleanliness through using them. Now, Eureka have installed on all of their grinders a very effective anti-clumping screen that looks like two little Zs separating the grinds chamber from the chute. And this is also charged to reduce static electricity and improve dose accuracy and cleanliness. And when it comes to grind retention, which has been a big focus on the Oro lineup, the Minion XL does not disappoint. So if you're single dosing your beans, after an initial loss of filling up those nooks and crannies of the burr chamber, I was getting a maximum of 0.2 grams retention on a dose, which is superb for such a large grinder. And it's that redesigned super tight internal burr chamber using those grind sweepers that keep the retention ultra low, so single dosing has become more of an option. Option. So importantly in carrying out cleaning duties and maintenance on the Minion XL is quick and easy to do, plus you won't be losing any of your grind settings. First you need to remove the hidden screw at the back of the hopper, then there are two screws to remove and access the grinds chamber. From here there are further screws to remove if you want to get out the burrs themselves, but you will be able to give that grinds chamber a complete clean out with a vacuum cleaner and a brush no worries to get the job done quickly and then remove any dust or grinds from building up. And that's the Eureka Oro Minion XL coffee grinder for you. Now I've always considered Eureka to produce high quality, reliable grinders for the home user with great features that have been spread across a lineup of good grinders. Perhaps they've just been feeling out what works and what doesn't, but the introduction to the Oro lineup and the XL, the timing couldn't be better as the home barista and the coffee connoisseur is ever more searching for higher performance and more reliability in a grinder and Eureka seem to have taken notice. So there is certainly more to come from the Oro range. The XL, this is a superb grinder for espresso brewing and is the full package. So if you have any questions on the Eureka Minion XL, then add them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon and the subscribe button on your screen. And then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.